What um, what do you take away from bare knuckle? Um, where on your body from um, MMA? Truth be told, it's safer. Um, a lot of people look at me crazy when I say that, but truth be told, it's safer. There's more super, what's the word I'm looking for, but damage, it cuts and, uh, you know, you're going to bleed a lot more. You're going to get more stitches because of the bone to bone. There is no padding on those punches. But people forget that, that boxing gloves were invented not for the guy getting punched. They were invented for the puncher to allow that guy to keep boxing and not injuring his hands every fight. Um, what we can do with a roll of gauze and tape before we can put these young guys in MMA gloves or in boxing gloves before they even go out there and fight, borderline should be legal. I mean, they, those, those guys are in cast and they can punch a brick wall without having any fear of punching, without breaking their hand, I should say. When bare knuckle, I mean, it's real. You, you, you're, you're cautious of throwing those overhands. You're not going to take those big shots that you're going to take that guys are able to throw when they have no fear of hurting their hands. Um, so, I mean, I don't want to just keep beating it up, but I 100% believe it's it, it, it's safer for the long term of fighters. You're going to take way less brain injuries. You're going to bleed more, but I'm not I'm not looking for a modeling career after this and chick sticks cars, right? So. Yeah, definitely. Uh, like you said, uh, you're going to take a lot of damage, and then uh, I believe. Uh, that a McKnight fight versus Arnold fight has been to, to Bernardo, but uh, the forest and Bonner did. I mean, if you go back and you look at that fight, I mean, wow. Um, you think yourself could have been in a fight like that? Absolutely. I'm waiting for that man that wants to stand in the middle and meet in a phone booth and, and, and let's put on an exciting fight, you know? Um, unfortunately, I, I, I haven't had that dance partner yet. Um, I hope Reggie... I hope Reggie, he, he wants to toe that line like they say in Bare Knuckle, and I hope he wants to put on the best fight of the night because I want to be remembered for a warrior, man. I want to be the guy that puts on those wars because you're 100% right. What Jason Knight and Artem Lobov did for Bare Knuckle is exactly what um, Forrest and, and Bonner did years ago for the for the UFC. So I, 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 I'm, I'm looking for my dance partner that wants to stand in the middle and punch each other in the, and let's give the fans what they want. Let's give the promotion what they want and let's just find out who's freaking tougher. Uh, you just recently spoke with Reggie. Um, you know, uh, just, I know you didn't get to see him, but uh, could you tell anything in his voice? Um, you know, the talk that he was saying? No, we got to, you know, it was it was face to face, as face to face as you can get. We were just a Skype interview with a couple other interviewers, so I got to see his mannerisms and, and you know, his expressions of things I said, or I got to hear his tone in, in live and he's, he's, He's not a shit talker. He's never been. Um, not that I pride myself on being a shit talker. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just good at it. Uh, I will say that. I think uh, if you scored that interview, Johnny Bedford's definitely up 1-0. Um, I think I definitely got in his head, and I, what I said was nothing, nothing was that I said was untrue. I said the guy is three and zero in bare knuckle with three decision wins. I said he's six and two in pro boxing with his only two wins coming by stoppage were against guys without a single professional win. I, I, I questioned him. I said, Reggie, you never finished anyone with a single win. I question, I, I question your punching power. I question your your, your toughness. You, you, we're, we're different breeds of people. I'm not looking to go out there and win decisions. I'm looking to go out there and finish people and put them on their hands and knees, quit and saying no more. And we're just different types of people. Uh, you know, I think I got in his head a little bit. He acts like it doesn't bother him, but. Nothing I said was unfactual. I mean, everything I said was, you, you, you can't, you don't have the ability to knock me out. Right? If you win, you're going to have to win a decision. And that would bother me to have that be told in the other way. And I, uh, you know, I, I, I poked at him a little bit and I asked him, what happens if we meet in a dark alley? Because you don't get to meet, win a decision in a dark alley. He, he, he stuttered up. He thinks he's so tough. But we all know what happens when we meet in a dark alley. Johnny Bedford walks out, Reggie Buck. Whatever. I'm not going to beat the dead heart. Uh, dead horse, this man's trying to, to win a fight, win a world championship, just like I am. We're just trying to do it differently. He's trying to win a point competition, and I'm trying to stand over his his body as he quits. Uh, being a family man, uh, your kids know how big Saturday night is going to be? My kids don't have a clue. I mean, this is all, all my kids know. It's funny. Um, my, my, my kids, they'll, 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 they'll assume that daddy's on TV when the UFC's on still. They just... It's just not a big deal to them. They, they, they've kind of, you know, been born into seeing me fight. They, they, they were both here to watch me go through the UFC and 
go through, you know, the Ultimate Fighter, and it was pretty weird for my son, you know, when the Ultimate Fighter was that I would go to Chili's for dinner and people would stop and ask for a picture, an autograph or something, and my, my son would look at him like, why do you want a picture of my dad? You know, he, he just doesn't get it. Um, so, my kids are, they're, they're amazing. Um, it's just, they're different. This is all they know. This is how dad makes a living, and they've got to, you know, be part of it their whole life. I think once they get a little, a little bit older, they will understand how significant this match is and how you're going to be making history. You've been with several coaches. Um, how much has um, Rafael up to see his coach? Uh, you've been with him now for a little bit. Mm-hmm. How much has he helped you in, in understand boxing? This is standard. Yeah, absolutely. Um, uh, Rafael Casillas, I owe a lot of all of my successes that I've talked about previously, the UFC and all those things, a lot of that equate to my relationship with Rafael Casillas. Rafael Casillas, I moved to Texas in 07 to run a different gym and I met him at that point. Uh, 07, 08 we met and we actually started Fitness Fight Factory together in 2010. Um, but just without starting a business and stuff, just him taking me on and I needed a boxing coach and I needed fight manager and I need someone that would have my best interest for me at all times and that guy has always been Rafael Casillas. Um, from the time I met him we instantly had a connection. Um, he's, it, it, it's more than a business partner, he's more than a bi- boxing coach, he's more than a fight manager, he's more than a government. That, that, that guy is family to me here in Texas for sure um, and it's 100% I said it when I made the UFC what changed my career was boxing. I was a good wrestler, I was a good grappler. I needed to put it all together. And Rafael Casillas, and then taking me to places, Reyes Boxing and other places like that, has developed me into the person that got me into the UFC. And it's now, obviously you watch me in the UFC, you would swear I was a boxer. I didn't take anyone down. And obviously it's just transpired into bare knuckle boxing where I'm most comfortable with and I owe Rafael because he has a whole lot of credit for sure. Uh, we are here at Fight Fitness Factory. Uh, tell us about some of your up and coming fighters that you've got here. Now. We all know Lee Lamont, Matt Cutts, Valerie Soto, Cody Freeman. Uh, tell us about some of the new guys. That we've got a we've got a squad here. Um, Fitness Fight Factory is making noise. We're, we're busy. We're, we're somewhere every weekend. Um, you've obviously mentioned some of our bigger name top guys pros that fight on national TV regular Levi Miles, Evan Cutts, Devin Miller, Valerie Soto, Cody Freeman. We're making noise. My pro team is killing it right now. Um, but then I have a really, really, really good stable of young amateurs. Um, DJ Doyle just graduated high school this year. Um, amazing kid. He's got two amateur titles already, 19 years old. Um, just won a second belt within a month from a different promotion last weekend. I've got another 20-year-old kid named J.C. DeLeon. He's 4-0, undefeated right now. He owns a belt in a different promotion. Jacob James and Darren Whitney. and I mean, the list goes on and on. I've got Charlie Spoolstra as a pro. I, I'm going to miss so many guys, and I don't want to miss anyone because I, I, I'm, if I'm being honest, that's my true passion is coaching and, and running this team because... I want to give back and I want to, you know what I mean, be a positive influence in their careers, help them where I can because I know it's not easy. It takes a, a community to, to get to the top. And so just like they need good coaching, they need good training partners, they need good girlfriends, they need good, you know what I mean? So all of that here is all coming together. You see these guys, they do life together outside of the gym. I don't have to worry about what they're doing on the weekend. Everyone here has a common goal and that's just being a world champion. I mean, obviously, take, take that many round up for coming out, taking the time to do this. Um, thank Fitness Fight Factory where we're at. Um, without this gym, I uh, you know I don't know where I'd be. So I'm I'm very fortunate to get to to do what I love for a living. Um, thank my sponsors as always. Link Transport is always in my corner. Uh, Precision Construction and Roofing is in my corner. Noli Oil, Noli Oil CBD 
company in South Lake, Texas. Check them out. Um, Bare Knuckle Fighting Championship, David Feldman, thank you for taking a chance on me. I told you the day I met you that I'd be the face of this promotion, and come Saturday night, I'm going to make that, that statement come true. There you have it, Johnny Brutal Bedford, looking to make history Saturday, June 22nd. Don't miss this fight. It will be on Bare Knuckle TV, I believe, right? Yep, and all pay-per-view. On pay-per-view. Don't miss it. Appreciate it, Johnny. Thank you.